Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to what is a, an announcement by Rockstar telling you all that it's going to be DLC day on December the 12th because the casino DLC has been officially confirmed like we saw yesterday in the teasers that they were rolling around. It was basically confirmed right then and right there, but now we have a release date which is going to be next Thursday, December 12th. Now, there are some interesting tidbits within the Newsfire post that they have said, so let's dive into that. The Diamond Casino Heist is an all-new approach to you in heist architecture and execution. One huge gameplay packed operation as you work with the Chang family to infiltrate the most secured building in all of Los Santos, featuring a diverse range of opportunities for setup and prep missions to shape your plan of attack, multiple paths of approach, constantly changing security measures, and a dizzying array of choices once inside. Expect outcomes for you and your crew to change on the fly as you deal with the new situation, leading to more choices mid mission. Even if the best laid plans go sideways, you'll have the opportunity to keep the mission afloat without failing by shooting your way out with your remaining team's life all allowing the heist to be highly replayable with new scenarios unfolding each time. In order to plan the biggest heist ever perpetrated in Los Santos, heist crew leaders will set up an unexpected new commercial venture as a front, a retro arcade business property shrouding the nerve center within where heist operations are stayed and rehearsed. While the business runs above, down below you can practice hacking keypads and cracking vault doors, store equipment and getaway vehicles and owners of existing businesses can add a master control terminal to handle all their current operations. So that was basically the interesting part of what is the announcement of the DLC. Now there's a few things I'd like to point out. Having a whole new approach where things can start changing as you're doing other things and giving more replayability to the heist themselves obviously is something that is very welcome but one thing that i particularly find interesting and i'm hoping is going to be an expansion if not better than we already have within the terabyte is that hopefully with this master control terminal we're also going to be able to actually buy supplies rather than just starting a mission ourselves because if there's anything that i personally would kind of missing from the terabyte itself was the fact that you couldn't buy supplies. If you have the opportunity to just sit down behind the computer, not like you have in your penthouse where you buy an office and you can't do anything with, but you can just buy supplies, it would make businesses even more appealing than they already are. And as an arcade business property, I don't know what exactly we're going to be doing. Maybe we're even going to be doing the thing like we were doing in GTA 4, where we're working for Mr. Petrovic to destroy other arcades or whatever. It would be quite interesting to see how they're going to approach that one. Obviously, the biggest one is going to be the heist. I'm really curious to see how that is all going to pan out. But I don't personally think that the arcade business is going to be very active. It's probably just going to be a passive business to kind of shield away your heist plans as you're going about the day. But it's looking like another new property. i uh, really curious to see where exactly they're going to place those because Los Santos is pretty oversaturated already as it is. But time will tell. December 12th, next Thursday, we're going to be finally playing it. Obviously, I will be streaming it on my YouTube and the Twitch channels as per usual. So stay tuned to those channels if you're interested and obviously to the YouTube channel as well. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later. P.S. Twitch chat says hello.